Hello, my name is The Gaming Critic. I review video games with no regrets whatsoever. Now what happens when you take platforming and racing genres into one game? What do you get? A badass video game. If the developers execute the game correctly. And is this game executed correctly? No! After Crash Twin Sanity was released, it seems that there was hope for this series after all. It demonstrated that there is a good Crash Bandicoot game out there that wasn't developed by Naughty Dog. So all the momentum from Twin Sanity was leading to a new Crash Bandicoot game. If Twin Sanity was a major step forward, Tag Team Racing is a major step backwards. It could have been a good game, but the things they added is, well, awful. So let's not waste any more time and review, once again, another mediocre Crash Bandicoot game. This is Crash Tag Team Racing. Published by Surya Entertainment and developed by Radical Entertainment, Crash Tag Team Racing was released in 2005. And it was released on GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PlayStation Portable. The story starts with the announcement of the farewell race of Von Clutch's Motor World. The reason behind it is because the power gems that kept the park active has been stolen. Meanwhile, Crash, Coco, and Crunch are trying to escape from Cortex, Nita, and Engine, while Cortex gets hit in the face from a chicken. <laughs> As Von Clutch is looking for more racers, out of nowhere, all six characters crashes in front of the theme park, and it was just what Von Clutch needed. From there, Von Clutch explains that whoever gets all the power gems back will win the ownership of the park. He even goes on to say that his black gem, his life source, is missing, and he has a few more hours to find it or he will die. We get introduced to more characters. We meet Pasadena Opossum. The best way to describe her is she's a Sandy Cheeks parody. Any other character is a mascot. Holy cannoli! What is that thing? Ah, oh, that's my trolley pack mascot, Willy Wumper Cheeks. Everyone accepts, and we can start playing. Overall, I never got interested in the story, mostly because I just wanted to start racing. For a game that's called Crash Tag Team Racing, you're mostly platforming. They should have considered calling this game Crash Platforming slash a bit of racing and also hitting little kids for whatever reason. But is the platforming any good? Well, it's all right. I have played worse platform games than this, but there are a few problems. For starters, the double jump. The double jump is not cooperative at times. You could easily fail a simple jump from one side to another, all because of the double jump and the camera angles doesn't help out sometimes. The environment around each theme park is pretty bland and not inspiring. However, the two things I like about the platforming is being able to go higher to find secrets and smashing a lot of boxes to get coins. You can do a chicken quest where you find all the chickens for a limited amount of time, but I never really was interested in it. It felt like a chore to find all the chickens, and sometimes they are located in places that are hard to reach. The objective in this game is to find the power gems. How do you do that? By collecting power crystals, either doing certain mini games, buying them from strangers, or competing in a number of races. The races are once again alright. The racetracks themselves are basic. But not too basic, as some of the racetracks actually stand out. But probably the highlight of this game is merging two carts into one. By merging, you can switch between driving and shooting, which I find it pretty fun! Being able to smash and destroy any cart that stands in your way is entertaining. My favourite carts to merge would have to be Nina or Engine, just because their weapons are really powerful. The ones I don't like are Cortex and Von Clutches. With merging, however, the races can be easy. In fact, you won't have any trouble on the hardest difficulty. All you have to do is clash with engine and shoot your way into first place. While I'm at it, like Twin Sanity, 
the story is once again short. Like your penis? The story will probably take around two to three hours to finish. And the weird thing is, you don't even have to play all the races to get all the power crystals. There is something that I need to address. What the fuck have they done to Crunch? Enough jibber jabber. I need help. I found a ride that needs driving. You gonna help me? We bring the hurt. Eat your greens. Float old Crunch alone. Low interest. I buy that ride and word, we bounce. Hey Crash, give the Crunch some help. Some no good fool done stole my pinky bear. Crunch can't sleep without his pinky bear. Go find it for me. I'll give you a crystal. It's the kind you like. All sparkly and stuff. Why you come back with no coins, fool? Crunch needs the coins. Spend all my money on jelly beans, like the red ones. And turkey bacon, less fat. Trying to watch the carbs. Try tofu, but it don't taste like nothing. Added steak, that was good. Go give me those coins. If you haven't noticed it by now, you can see that Crunch is a parody of Mr. T. <sighs> First off, why did I need to do this? Is it because they'll think they'll sell more copies of the game? Just because you have a parody of Mr. T? So basically, we went from an interesting character to an annoying ripoff of a celebrity. And second, if you think that's bad, wait until you check out Tiny Tiger in Crash of the Titans. And believe me, I have a lot to talk about it. But that's a story for another day. Back to the review. Spiral Mouth is back with the soundtrack. Hey, that rhymes! But this time, they are accompanied by other composers. There are a few songs in this game that stands out, and it is enjoyable to listen to, but most of the soundtrack in this game are pretty forgettable. Around the park, there's special gags to check out. Either Crash gets hurt, or he dies. The gags in this game definitely reminds me of The Simpsons Hit and Run. Well, duh, they're both developed by Radical Entertainment. Silly me. Only difference is I enjoy Hit and Run's gags better. The gags in this game, however, are pretty dumb to look at. Which brings me to the comedy that this game offers. And honestly, what happened? In Twin Sanity, you have perfect one-liners that made Twin Sanity a hilarious game. Dr. Cortex, what have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many, I can't be expected to remember them all. But in Tag Team Racing, it's like a little kid came up with the ideas and made the comedy in this game just childish. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. Back when I was a kid, I did laugh at this game's comedy. But here's the thing. I was a kid. Kids can find anything funny these days, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's a common thing. I can see that the comedy was aiming at kids. While the adults may chuckle for a couple of times, they just wouldn't care about the others. And apparently you can burp and fart during the low times. So, the comedy in this game is just silly, in my opinion. You can also take side quests from all the characters, complete it, and you unlock their vehicle. This is something to do on the side, in case you're feeling bored. There's two modes you can partake in, the stunt modes, which I never became a fan of, and battle modes, which is fine. If you play the battle modes with a friend, well unlike me because I don't have any friends, it can be fun at times. They also have driving minigames, which includes driving for the fastest lap, destroying vehicles along your path, and shooting objects that stand in your way. Again, it's fine, but I never really gone into it. 
As far as the minigames around the park is concerned, I never liked them. However, the one minigame I do like is bowling. Perhaps I like 10 pin bowling and smashing ninja penguins in half. Speaking of ninja penguins, I don't know if they rushed it or they decided to put ninja penguins in the last minute before release. <laughs> they look like the foot soldiers from the Power Rangers series. It's pretty bad. Crash Tag Team Racing is a game that you'll have a mixed reaction to. The platforming and the races are fine, but not great. The gags are childish, and while I do like clashing with other vehicles, and blowing them up is fun, but that is the only fun thing to do in this game. Whenever you like or hate this game, that's entirely up to you. And so for that reason, Crash Tag Team Racing gets 5 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you! Finally I look as pretty as I feel! The next game I'm going to review features one of my favourite superheroes of all time, Spider-Man. Join me next time as we take a look at the game that's based off the movie, Spider-Man the Movie Game. Thank you for watching this review, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe today. My name's The Gaming Critic, telling you to keep calm, and keep playing video games.